Stream up, guys. We good? Oh. Are we gonna... No, we're still good. Yeah, we're back. Sorry about that. I don't know what the fuck happened. Internet. Probably Corona. <laughs> corona, yeah. Blame it on Corona. Huge push from the Shermans coming hard in the paint here. Pax trying to hold off and protect the Panzer IV. Panzer IV in trouble, but these Shermans are suicidal right now with the amount of Pax behind them. Sherman goes down. Panzer IV goes down. One of the Shermans that's left trying to escape with its life. Dude, the Austin's awesome. trying to wipe it. He's going for it. Couple more shots. We'll do it. No! Where did that Sherman come from? That third one. Yeah, he was. Sit I think he's just finished repairing. Wow. Okay, a lot of trades there. Another P4 cooking, but the Axis are looking pretty good with Inf, but the rest of their forces are basically gone. I mean, uh, given the fact that uh, this one is still not ending this engagement, he was still pushing the cutoff and uh, has plenty of support weapons to prevent the counterattack, just tells you that he's fine with infantry. But his tanks are just... Uh... Cluster bombs again on these packs. He's got to be so careful with these things. Oh, God. Almost loses a triple vet pack. Oh, no. Triple vet pack is decrewed. This Sherman's reversing right into Faust's, though. The Major decrews the other pack with his 9mm, or his 45, rather. One more Faust should be able to do it. Not enough munis, though. Not enough munis. So, oh, God. No. I hate this. This sucks, man. This is a disaster. If this Sherman gets out, that's a giant problem. But here comes another Panzer IV. First order of business. Counter the... Defend the counter attack with that Sherman. Does manage to push it back a bit. Now focusing the, on uh, the infantry. Yeah, Panzer IV is uh, not getting great shots here. Dutchman gets the snare on Panzer IV. Does have the uh, Lieutenant as well as the Sherman on the left flank. Does get one of his packs back. That's really... Never mind, it gets decreased. Panzer IV now escapes with its life with a sliver of health. This Sherman on low health is just such a menace. They can't do anything about it, though, is a problem. Yeah. Finally, after minutes of combat, this one finally unroots the Americans from this area. Jesus Christ. Recapture pack. Good to see here. That was so much fighting to try to just take that one position. Yeah. The second pack now hits the field, a fresh pack. One of the packs got destroyed by, uh, I believe, Lieutenant and his bazooka there. Middle. Sherman's getting double repped. Pains of Ford getting repped not quite as fast. Two pack. Well, no, sorry. One pack in the south with an MG50. A third Sherman's on the field here. This one's going to be in trouble. The Vips are even enough that Dutchman's not in any hurry to do what he needs to do here. It doesn't look good for this one with this third uh, Sherman on the field. Double packs can... Doesn't... Yeah, exactly. Double packs can do a lot, but that's so many Shermans. Yeah. I'd love to see if uh, this one could potentially throw some Teller Mines to cover his flanks, because he's getting pretty beat up from, from uh, left flank. Yeah, you're 100% right. A teller over there could, like, turn everything. A teller in a pack covering the teller. You can just delete tanks that way. Sherman's coming in balls deep in there in the center. Good pack positioning. They're not bundled up this time. Yeah, more cluster bombs coming in. I'm not sure where, though. In the south. 
These packs doing a lot of damage, though. One pack decrewed. All the Shermans are still alive, though. The one is snare that this B4 needs to act quickly now. Really well, well micro there by Dutchman to keep the strong Sherman in the front, but he's got to get those weak ones out of there or his efforts will be in vain. That was actually really well micro to keep the weak Shermans in the back and the strong one in the front there. He just drives in, does a shitload of damage, and then drives out. I mean, that's... Yeah, definitely. That's what's... Right? That's uh, very solid. Yeah. Well, uh, Grenadiers uh, pushing out. Heavily vetted, of course, with G43s. Tenant should uh, run home any time now. No upside. Get that lieutenant out of there, son. Yeah, good Whew! A lot of nearly what? dead Shermans. This has been a crazy match. Yeah, man. Slobber knocker. Oh, no. Dude, the P4 has plenty of health, and these Shermans do not. He's going to just start wiping Shermans. One down. Oh, God. Double I... Sherman runs. This is, this is hilarious. It's like a bully cornering a couple of nerds in a locker room, dude. There's... These Shermans don't know what to do. They're Here firing the back. <laughs> Here comes Here the witch. The <laughs> <laughs> Sherman backs up and ultimately goes home. Yeah. I thought he could have killed two Shermans there, possibly. Yeah. Nerd Nur stood up to the bully. Yeah, and they, they did their job. Very well done there. The second P4 is now cooking for Zisman. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's fair. Honestly, like, a Stug wouldn't be a bad choice on this map, but there's so many... I don't know, uh, like, the Allies have the infantry... Or the Axis have the infantry advantage, too, like, generally. But Panzer IVs are so good. Yeah, I, I'd probably prefer to see a Stug in this situation, because he does have... Uh... A lot of infantry, as you said, and uh, Sherman seems to seem to be do, be more problematic for him. Um, the standoff range with the Stugs on this map with line of sight support could be really, you know, you could just push the Shermans around. You're not necessarily going to kill them, but they're not going to be able to dictate the the tempo, which they are right now. Yeah. Five men. Uh, Pioneers are duking it out with the lieutenant here. Lieutenant is still suppressed. Uh, God knows how. Sherman just keeps missing <laughs> those pioneers. Yeah, a lot of carcasses there from uh, dead vehicles. It's going to be very hard to root him out, but he ultimately does the coax. Is this one keeping VIP pressure, though? Like, despite the chaos, he is keeping the VIP pressure. Uh, Angry Dutchman going to be down to 140 here shortly. He's trying to cap with very low rifles. Fresh Sherman versus fresh B4. Sherman is turning its ass, uh, trying to run back, but gets penetrated. Yeah, a lot of packs on the field and a lot of P4s. The Allies are actually starting to get into a bit of a bad spot here. Well, Pathfinders do manage to get a decap on the VP, but they're forced to run back. Only a single model left. So this wing is uh, doing really well to hold the line with all of these stolen 50 cals. It does have quite a lot of vet veterans on those things. Sherman in the center taking big hits. Another allied 50 goes down. Sonny, this is game two. This one looking pretty damn dominant right now. There's not a lot of allied infantry. Their tanks are damaged, and the VIPs are not in their favor. Stormtroopers. Yeah, yeah Stormtroopers looking to wipe more models. Never mind. No, okay, fair enough. He's going straight for VIPs. Yeah, I would too. Going for the jugular right now. Finish this quickly. Just get the triple cap and hold the line, and uh, uh, you're well on your, on your way to victory here. Yeah, he's getting rid of all these, uh, getting rid of all the heavy weapons. That's obviously a good call. He's got double fuel yet again. I think, 
Given the AT capabilities as this one has and the infantry advantage, this is going to be the Dutchman's next big attack. Like, he has to break a whole bunch of units simultaneously in this next attack. And he does have cluster bombs queued up, so anything's possible. Yeah, a little bit uh, of a lack of AT support on uh, Dutchman's part is just uh, not giving me enough confidence that he can actually win this game. Yeah. He should. He should have at least uh, dropped some uh, airdrop combat group in order to harass these uh, 50 cals at least or something like that. Yeah, or he could airdrop... Uh... Well, no, you're right, yeah. With uh, those paratroopers that get dropped in as well, he can potentially attack bazookas and have at least one, some AT support for his Shermans, but that's not happening, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. some a little bit more mobile might be the ticket here. Uh, there's enough Allied infantry pushing, though. The packs are in position, but they're too far away to get damage done. they got to be a little bit careful. The Zook's coming in, and Shermans are charging forward. The packs are in retreat, so they can't really set up, but they are getting ready to. A lot of damage on that Sherman. Sherman in big trouble here. Cluster bombs coming in on the packs, though. Another Panzer Park coming from the left. Sherman goes down. A lot of Artie, a lot of depth. Two packs and a Panzer IV go down simultaneously, and another Panzer IV goes down. Holy shit. Angry Dutchman doing enormous damage to the Axis here. Jesus Christ. That Pathfinder artillery just nailed it in the spot there, knocking out both packs as well as the Panzer IV there. Holy moly. Yeah, and the LT on retreat got outflanked by uh, uh, Grenz. The Sherman's destroying a trip NMG. Holy mother of God, everything is getting wiped. But the problem is, is this, this one's got VPs this entire time. The map is on fire. Everything is dying. But it doesn't matter if Angry Dutchman can't get a hold of some VPs here. Another unit from Zisman on retreat, trying to stay alive. Gets wiped. These Shermans are doing outstanding damage, but the VPs are so low. This is going to get so desperate here soon. Shermans get another wipe. Jesus Christ. Artie coming in from Ziswin. Oh, that was the last ditch effort. Oh, gets two models, but not enough. Holy shit, dude. Okay, Dutchman stops the bleed. That Sherman is not going to take any guff from those stormtroopers. You can't keep them in there. They're going to die. One model left on that rifle squad. Vet 3 just got to finish the cap. Holy shit, dude. Ooh. That like that like four minute period was more intense than the rest of this entire map. Like this entire match. <laughs> Jesus yeah, Christ. I, I kind of bit my thumb there uh, for doubting uh, Dutchman here. Just insane set of circumstances that uh, made this comeback possible. I mean, he saw he, he knew that trying the cluster bombs wasn't going to work and he had IR guys in range so that just worked out and a Panzer Force coming in a week Sherman in trouble here more action in the south the SMG's got to go home yeah Dutchman doing everything in order to keep those uh, VPs in check he cannot afford to lose any more and while Panzer IV doing massive damage to 50 cal here Dutchman trying to get the triple cap. He badly needs to get a triple cap on his opponent here. Panzer IV reigning supreme in the north. Uh, triple vet Sherman against a zero vet P4. We know who wins that one. But here comes the Stug. Oh, nice. Stug coming in. Cluster bombs in the center. He's trying to get those infantry from capping the vet, but he misses. Panzer IV uh, losing to this trip vet Sherman. Stug deciding not to support the P4 at the moment. Panzer IV might go down, but the turret of the Sherman aims for a different unit. Stug! Oh, yeah, getting some in the center. Yep. Stug's destroying Sherman's reminds me of Co-1, so that's just, that's just fantastic. The Panzer IV is running from this Sherman, though. The Sherman's going to chase, and the Stug comes from nowhere! And wipes hero the trip stug. vet. Yes, hero stug. <laughs> hero stug, the Angus shoots would be proud. He would indeed. 
And it looks like the match is going to go to this one with a VIP bleed. Yeah, dire situation at this point for 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 our Dutch friend. Loses another squad here. Middle and uh, pops a really nice uh, vape nation in the middle to allow his stormtroopers to stick around and prevent the bleed. Yeah, that's gonna seal the deal here. And this one pulls off a a win with a, a crazy. There was like it was pretty normal, slowish tempo, and then there was that massive spike in action, followed by consistent action to the inevitable bleed where Angry Dutchman loses this match and I think we know who won the first game yeah. and of course we got 43 minute Greyhound because why the hell not sure well he's going for caps right he's desperate yeah, yeah. to get anything in there to cap a VIP just to stay alive but this one pulls off a crazy second half of match two and round three of the Master League wild card yeah kudos to him for coming back in the game here whoo Crazy game. Oh, wow. I got to take a drink of gin after that one. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I, I got to take my pants off because my balls is sweating. <laughs> <laughs> Holy monkeys. Given how like ridiculous it's that game was, I'll be real excited to see game three. Whew. And guess what? It's going to be in your favorite map, Ploesti. Oh, yeah, that's right. Game three's on Playesty. This should be a sick uh, game three. These guys are pretty darn evenly matched, too, so. Holy Jesus. I think we should uh, jump right into it before it goes out, right? Uh, we don't know what the length of the third game was. Yeah, I yeah. agree. And any refs or mods, if you see this win or Dutchman jump in chat, just mute them until the match is over. I don't want to know who won that ahead of time. Uh, yeah, so I think, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to see it live, but there's a replay in chat. Okay, totally uh, fair. Yeah, boot that up. Uh, this one, don't say a word. Keep your mouth shut. Everybody else, nothing. <laughs> I have no mods. <laughs> We can fix and that Dutchman right now. as well. Keep your mouth shut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Love you guys, go. but yeah, uh, I don't actually know how the hell to do this. It's in the results. So I just downloaded it. I'm going to load it in. Yeah, post it. Uh, just, just message it to me here. It's in the replays and results organization. This I was trying to mod some people. Yeah, let me do that. Dutchman G3. Here we go. Yeah, and uh, we are I think we're going to have to sync up uh, the old-fashioned way by counting down in this one. Oh, that's right. Because they, for, for some reason, have groups in spectate but not a replay. That's all right. Yeah. We'll make that work. Whew. That went from not super interesting to out of control. All right, we're going to sync this replay up like it's 2006. Uh, I do need to restart my game because I just put the replay in there. I'm uh, going to wait for you at 10 minute, uh, 10, 10 second mark. Roger that. Damn. How the hell do I mod people? Oh boy. If I could just click on them. Code 2 is booting. 
Oh, mod username, dude. All right, I'm at 11. All right, AE, you've got mod. Let him have it. You know what to do. All right, I'm still booting cope. Yeah, timeout Dutchman. Nothing against you guys, but we want we do not want any spoilers for this. That is a dodo. What code two's down? <laughs> That'll happen. I guess all of the flux of people due to two tournament. And by the way, for those of you that are extreme code two fanboys like myself, we beat uh code one tournament in every aspect of viewership. Every single stream of ours had much more viewers than their single one. I, Fuck yeah, Code 2. I personally like both games. I think they both... Both of both Company of Heroes games are better than each other in many ways. <laughs> it's funny, like, they both have strengths that the other one lack in many different ways. Good to see Koan still running, but yeah, this is kind of the main event here. Um, stuff Master League related is Damn. top tier. Damn right it's made it. Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting. This one picking Brits. And Angry Dutchman going Oswind. Uh -oh. Or Austin. Oswin, Jesus uh -oh. Christ. It's cool. We've only been streaming oh. for for like seven hours or six hours. <laughs> yeah, spoiler alert. I don't want to know if, if Angry Dutchman went Oswind. Please. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, what, what's your time at? 11 seconds. All right, stand by. Steady. Steady. Okay, I am at 11 seconds. Ready to resume in three, two, one, and play. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and people all over the world. Welcome to round three, game three of the wild card Master League tournament. We are watching the ace game between Ziswin and Angry Dutchman on Ploiesti outskirts. And in the south, Ziswin playing as the British faction. And up north representing the Dutch Mafia of Code 2, the angriest one of them, Angry Dutchman, is austere of course. Yeah, we have not seen Brits today at all. Uh, and we are on play SD outskirts here. So new factions, new map, ace game. Whoever wins this will go into the semifinals against Boro Badger. I'll be very oh, curious. Bor Boro Badger went through in, in, into semifinals. Yeah, be? Two, 2 1 against Balang. Oh, wow. I was not expecting that. Good lord. Well played, Boro Badger, if that's the case. Yeah. Balang's been playing a lot, too. That must have been a very contentious set. Yeah. But Boro Badger's very good. I mean, both of those guys are really good. Definitely. First engagement of the game. Meanwhile, we got some uh, Tommies meeting up with uh, Grenadiers on the south side of Ploest, the outskirts. Oh, apparently Bao is still playing. Uh, the brackets must have been updated in error not a big deal we're, we will ignore them for now dutchman okay. coming in with a sniper okay sniper play against brits that's actually totally fair yeah legit build uh getting the sniper as a second unit or sometimes as a first depending if your name is seeking or not yeah but the idea is the same the is oh no hurumbara town is correcting us yet again i guess he is done Chat, get your shit together. <laughs> yeah, but maybe Bao just continue playing 1v1. Yeah, uh, Boro Badger did win 2 to 1. Fair enough. Thank you, guys. Not a big yeah. deal. Congratulations to Boro Badger. In my mind, that is an upset. Dude, the sniper's getting a little brave here. There's a. Uh, oh, no, okay. He, he, he was about to get outflanked by a unit, but the piles ultimately saved him here. Infantry sections get overrun on the left side and the right side uh, getting capped up. Buys this when Angry Dutchman gonna dominate the left. 
just so everyone in chat is yeah, aware, game, round four semifinals, third place match, and finals are all tomorrow. So we're seeing effectively the last match of the day here. Yeah, excellent sniper play uh, by Dutchman in this instance. I mean, of course, you did uh, call out that it was being chased by Tommy squads, but I feel like Dutchman handled that situation expertly uh, yeah. without losing a single uh, HP on his sniper. Oh, and the the Brits are getting sniper. We're going to see some sniper duels here. Holy bananas. This, this, this series is just off the charts. Yep, loving it, loving it. The infantry squads do force off. Gren's in the center. Totally fair. They're going to sit there because they do get line of sight through the hedgerow here on the left. They have line of sight on the cutoff as well. The sniper is going to start picking them off. They're probably going to want to get out of that house unless they want to lose more models. Although he could be using him as bait as the uh, allied sniper moves up here. Dutchman sniper is in the open. He doesn't know that the sniper exists. Oh, this is going to be so scary. And there it goes! He gets the kill on the Axis Sniper. Oh. That Sniper split like a Kit Kat bar due to a 55 cal shot right in the face. Yeah, that's a big, big win for the Allies here. Gren's in the center, not moving despite getting picked off here. Angry Dutchman is in trouble now. Really nice counter snipe there by Zisvin. Of course, he utilized the the junk in the middle of the map perfectly to hop from one uh, uh, position to another without being revealed. Honestly, dude, that was a little bit sloppy from Angry Dutchman because if you have a sniper, you should always have it in cover, right? Like, you shouldn't leave him. Yeah, yeah. He's just standing there, and you really got to stay in cover even if your opponent doesn't have a sniper to take less damage. He got way too cocky for his own good, and he paid with his uh, sniper's life there. Yeah, he didn't. He did not get the value. He's looking to get out of it now. And now the British sniper is going to wreak havoc. And it looks like Dutchman's going to try to pay this back by getting a 250 half track and rushing the sniper. Would be my guess here. He does have uh, flamethrowers up on one of his pioneer squads, and uh, we're going to see very much version of the clown car. Yes, indeed. Uh, he's gonna get loaded up with flames, and here he comes. Good cutoff grab here from the Dutchman. Dutchman knows roughly where that sniper is. He's gonna go straight forward, would be my guess. And this one wisely first, immediately retreats. First order of business dislodged that, uh, cheeky Thomas squad from that, uh, all-important house in this, uh, Ploesti map. Yeah, and then second order of business, reconnect his uh, resources on the left. Yeah, uh, Tom is still getting harassed here, getting chased. Rickers now activating 50 cal 55 cal sniper. Gets the snare off on the 251. Yeah, really using, nice play there. Yeah, the critical shot. Shade. Very nice. Now he's in a repair duel with the sniper. Sniper's just gonna keep taking shots. Oh while, no. Uh... <laughs> oh, he's locking down to try to get the suppression. Oh my god, and then Tommy's just delete that pile squad who we're trying to repair. Dear god. Sniper could just pick off this 251 easily, but uh, sappers are moving in for some, some uh, AT uh, nade action here. Wow. Okay, so. This one is in a very, very dominant position now. He's lost a sniper, he's lost a flamed up pile, and he's lost a half track. He is rebuilding a sniper to try to regain uh, some manpower bleed and possibly wipe the enemy sniper. But yeah, he's asking what happened to his engineer. And what happened is he's repairing. And there are two Tommy squads. And uh, they delete units in that case. Like, they, they don't have a chance there. Really nice play by uh, this one as well to prioritize uh, uh, those uh, pioneers on time, opposed to just having uh, Tommy shoot on the 251. Yeah, for sure. And now this uh, Angry Dutchman's going to have to be very, very careful with his sniper. If he can counter snipe and kill the British sniper, he's kind of back 
you know, not entirely, but that puts him more a much more uneven footing with his opponent. But if he sees that sniper before he gets to do his job, that's that's a problem. Yeah, we gotta keep in mind that AC is also coming for uh, this one, and two 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 is highly unlikely after oh. two fifty one. Is he gonna get the shot? He needs to get out further. He doesn't have line of sight there. Oh, this barrel. He's not, but he's Locking not getting line. his unit where he needs it. Yeah. Oh, here he goes. Here he goes. Come on! Shoot! What are you doing? Removing! Oh, no. Oh, oh he gets oh. him! <laughs> wow! Jesus. Will he make it home? No! He loses his sniper on the way home. Dude, oh. he... That was a that was a bad play. He moved his sniper. He had the shot. He had a chance. And yeah, I don't know what to say. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's it's unfortunate. It's a bus killer for for, if, for Dutchman fans out there. But if, uh, if this was a baseball game, you know, when they miss the ball and they get an error point, that's an error right there. Like he had that yeah. sniper dead to rights, and he was gonna get away with it. But let's see if uh, AC is actually going to hit the field. No. Uh, this one is actually rebuilding his sniper and uh, he's stacking up. Uh, he did uh, attack for AC but never actually pulled it out. So, uh, curious to see what's going to happen now. Dude, he's lagging. He's staying way too long with those Grens on the field. Th these infantry sections are dirty at range, especially when in cover, and they have both on this area. A company command post. The resource game is going to basically put this one on top here. He's going to have, you know, these snipers are going to duke it out. That's fine. But this one's going to have vehicles way, way before Angry Dutchman. And I don't see a way. <laughs> I think he sees the writing on the wall already. Yikes, I want a rematch. Yeah, not going to happen, Dutchman. He's like, nope. He has so much time he can stick green cover outside of his base. I mean, if that doesn't tell you the issues that Dutchman has at this point, nothing will. Dutchman is, of course, rebuilding his sniper yet again. So we're going to see the third duel of snipers. Jesus Christ. I don't know if this one saw, or if Dutchman saw that sniper. No, he's going to lose it right here. Good Lord. Yep. Goodbye, sir. See ya. And that... <laughs> is basically the end of the game here. Yeah. 300 plus man power down the drain yet again. Yeah, and he's just got him pinned in, man. The resources are piling up for this one. And yeah, Dutchman tapping out here. And the game is over in 10 minutes. That was actually really action-packed really fast. Yeah. Uh, he just kind of murked him. For sure. Yeah, no, that was a really fun game. Uh... Sniper duels on play SD. And this one comes out on top. Well played by both. But the second game was just woo. Second game was like a very medium tempo and then out of control. <laughs> and there you have it. That's going to put this one up against Boro Badger. So C2, this one against Boro Badger. Boro Badger was seed 6 and he beat Balang. Uh, two to one. So Boro Badger seed six against this one seed two, and Elpern seed four against Who Run Barda Town seed one. Uh, I'm actually quite surprised and quite happy for Boro Badger's performance. If uh, any of you casters that are watching this, uh, feel free to grab those uh, replays and cast them in your own uh, channel, because I'd be curious to see uh, what the hell happened in that series. Yeah. Uh, it looks like uh, some people are reporting. I wasn't watching that game, obviously, but it sounds like Balling may have overestimated or underestimated Boro. I'm not 100% sure. We can see this one going into the semifinal slot live here. Uh, none of our round one competitors today made it to, to a third round. I would have liked to see someone come out of nowhere, but I, again, the this wild card is intended to allow anyone to get into master league and i think we've achieved our goals here in spades today round one two and three is done on day one tomorrow at the same starting time we will do the semifinals 
and we will, me and uh, Storm Tiger will cast semifinals and finals, and then the bronze match will happen at the same time. Um, yeah, this has been a good day, man. Yeah, definitely. I'm uh, actually after seeing that uh, second game, I'm actually really excited for the semifinals. Uh, it's going to be a blast. Uh, Plottertown versus Elprin, extremely good series. This win, Boro Badger. No clue how that can series turn out. That that series can uh, can turn out. So tune in tomorrow and uh, you know enjoy this action packed uh, code two with us. That's right. And guys, I I dropped a link to the Patreon for the Master League in here. This is an entirely community supported effort. Thanks for the follows, guys. Uh, don't forget to follow Sturm Tiger on his channel, which is right there on the splash screen. You can see. Um, you know, support the Patreon. Um, and that's right, uh, AE's reminding me that there will be an announcement after the wildcard stream tomorrow. So when the tournament is over, um, AE will give us some more information on what's going down in the Master League scene. Um, yeah, the yeah. maps today, too, have been looking good. I, I didn't see... We saw maybe, like, a small tweak that could be made to Ricky's map. But in general, it, this isn't an enormous amount of, like, data we're getting. But uh, still, from the matches we're seeing, they look... They look solid to me. Yeah. Nothing uh, major popped out besides that one little detail. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, Ploeste looks solid. Yeah, uh, the, the, the under 11 minutes we saw on it looked great. <laughs> looked great to me. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was, I assure you, that was due to different circumstances, not related yes. to map. But, no, uh, a, a game happening quickly on a map's not a bad thing if, you know, if it's a good, like what we just saw was just someone smack, you know, smacking the other guy down hard because of... Uh, Unique stretch is not a bad thing. The maps are looking good. The players are playing their minds out to get these seeds. Uh, and a fair reminder, the player one, whoever wins the finals will get uh, seed 24. The loser of the finals will get seed 27. And uh, the bronze match winner will get seed 30 for the big Master League tournament happening at the end of August. Yep. Yep. I think uh, A wants to do a little uh, code to action. I think we we'll probably cast him or rate him at least. Yeah, certainly. Uh, sign off for today. Yep. Yeah. No, I think uh, this has been an outstanding start to the first wild card tournament here. Um, tune in tomorrow, guys. Same time. Uh, it'll be nine o'clock. We'll start the stream a little early, but nine o'clock Central, ten o'clock Eastern, and. Uh, and uh, yeah. Just just a quick announcement for the players tomorrow. Those of you that qualified for semifinals, please do make sure that you check in on time. Uh, eight o'clock check ins are going to be open at eight a.m. Uh, or nine a.m. Eastern EDT. Uh, that's I think the same time as we did today. And also make sure you read up on uh, camera policy because we are going to perform a check at some point today. I'm going to talk to each and every one of you to make sure that you got the camera set up for tomorrow. Because we are going to, going to start enforcing this more and more. And uh, I think uh, any player that joins the main tournament of the Master League needs to be capable, uh, be compliant with the ML Fair, uh, fair, uh, fair Play camera policy. So yep. please do read the document and please do make sure you have the setup uh, in place. And we're going to go around uh, and uh, make sure you guys are squared away for tomorrow. So please do that. Yep. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will definitely see you tomorrow with the anarchistic final matches here in the wildcard event. Have a good one. See you, guys.